Hey, what's up? It's Jared. Today I wanted to share with you the things that I never leave for the home without. Actually, they're pretty much on me all the time. And this is my everyday carry. Now, I'm fascinated by the things that we carry with us. I love things that provide utility to our lives that we're able to do different things with uh, throughout the different needs that we have in our life. You know, that's definitely changed for me as I've like become an adult many years ago, but also as I got married and started having children like my the things that I need from a day to day have changed. I had an office, so at that time things were different and now I'm working from a home office. And so things have changed, but I do always love seeing the little things that people carry with them that provide specific utility to their lives and it's just fascinating to me so I thought I would share mine with all of you. So I definitely prefer a minimalist approach. I have I, I've had this kind of approach for a long time. I don't like carrying things on me. I've always wanted to move towards the digital age so that I just don't have to carry as many things on me. I don't carry membership cards and I don't have a thick wallet full of stuff. I mean, I did when I was young and I just realized I didn't I didn't want to carry all that stuff around with me. Now, I definitely at times over carry with things and a lot of times when I'm doing a photography or a video job, I bring too much gear and so there's there's that aspect of it where you know you definitely want to over prepare in certain circumstances, but a lot of times I don't want to just carry too much stuff on me for my own personal needs. So I'm going to share my everyday carry with you in hopes that maybe there's one or two little things that you find utility and I would love for all of you to share your like number one thing that you just can't leave the home without uh, down in the comment section below because I would just love to hear it. So I'm going to start with the main thing that I carry with me, which is my iPhone. Right now, I'm using the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It's the larger of the iPhone 11 Pros. I bounce around sometimes between an Android phone or an iPhone, but I typically go with a little bit larger of an iPhone because it is like my second brain. And I know that kind of sounds funny because, of course, these days we don't remember each other's phone numbers. There's a lot of things that we don't remember because we have our, our second brain right here. But for me, I utilize it because in personal life and business, there are so many different things that I need to have with me and I need to have the information be accessible because I don't have that like traditional type of desk job where everything that I need is right in front of me. And I, I don't think a lot of us do anymore. We have needs that uh, span the gamut. And so with my information, I found it to be best to carry it with me. I definitely utilize my iPhone for a lot of things such as setting reminders, viewing tasks, my calendar. I utilize Notion a lot as if any of you have watched any of my other videos, I talk a lot about how I utilize the app Notion in my life for just organizing and structuring my life and tracking things and keeping up on my goals and all of that good stuff. I utilize my phone to unlock my house. I have a lock that is digital and connects to my phone. I don't even need to have a house key anymore. It's battery powered, so I mean, Bluetooth, all that stuff, even if the power goes out at the house, I could still unlock my front door. I could turn on lights, I can adjust the climate to my house, I can check uh, on the security cameras that I have at my house when we are gone. For example, when we traveled last summer for two whole months, <laughs> I had security cameras up around the house so that of course we could check in and make sure that everything was fine back home when we were gone for so long. I can pay for things with my phone, do tap to pay, Apple Pay, or if I'm on a different device like Android Pay or Samsung Pay, we can pay for things pretty much everywhere now with our phones, places except PayPal and Venmo. There are multiple ways that we can just not even have to carry many credit cards or bank cards or any of that stuff on us. I can access my gym uh, and get uh, you know logged in there or whatever with my phone. I don't need anything for that. Um, I keep my first home screen on my phone empty, so when I open up my phone, I am on an empty screen, and so that way I'm not seeing 
apps and notifications and stuff like that, which I turn off most of those things on my device here. I keep notifications off, um, except for calls, SMS, like security related stuff, maybe some weather type of things. But most notifications like Facebook and all of these other apps, different social media apps, I turn off the notifications. If I wanna go and see what is happening on an app, I have to physically open it. There's no little number that shows up that shows how many things I've missed. There's no notifications popping up that say, hey, you know, you've received comments or likes or your friend shared this or whatever. There's none of those notifications that are gonna get in my way. But I keep my first home screen clean with just the apps down at the bottom. I actually have a tutorial on how to do that on an iPhone because the iPhone isn't naturally uh, allow for that. I have a tutorial I'll link to down in the description below that I did over on my State of Tech channel on how to put your first screen blank with nothing there, which is also fun because then you can see your nice desktop wallpaper or background wallpaper without all of your apps over the top of it. So the next thing that I carry with me are my AirPods Pro. My AirPods Pro have become my favorite carry as far as, uh, uh, you know, for music listening, for audiobooks. A lot of times I will listen to podcasts. Sometimes I will even listen to articles because there are like uh, RSS reader apps that will just like read articles on a web page or like blogs to me. And so there are a lot of different ways that I utilize that hands-free phone calls all the time because I don't want to have to like hold my phone up. You know, if you're driving and you're not supposed to be, you know, like utilizing your phone, having the, the AirPod Pro in my ear, make sure that I can get some really good quality for listening to that call. When I'm at the gym, I've got AirPods in. When, I'm, when I have some time to kill, I put the AirPods in. Uh, I don't like to be a distraction and play audio out of my phone when especially when other people are around I just don't want to be a distraction and bother them so I use the airpods and they're absolutely great uh, I actually have this like carbon fiber cover over my airpods just to protect them from getting all scratched up I'm going to be talking about stuff like that over on my state of tech channel pretty soon so if you haven't checked out that channel definitely go check that out if you like mobile technology and whatnot so the next thing is my minimal wallet, and my wallet is uh, is minimal. There are more minimal wallets than this, but this wallet is, uh, I've had it for a long time now, and I absolutely love it. Unfortunately, this company called Autumn, A-U-T-U-M, is no longer in existence. I've tried to find this wallet again because it is a little scratched up, and even though there are no rough edges on it or anything like that, I, I thought, yeah, it would be nice to kind of get another one. The leather is getting a little bit stretched out on it because I have been using this wallet for so long. And so what I basically keep in it is a couple of bank cards, my driver's license. I have an emergency 20 in there that I've actually been carrying with me for, gosh, I'd say like probably close to 20, 15 to 20 years now. I've had this emergency 20, which is like a backup 20. Thankfully, that's been in the back of my wallet. I haven't had to use it. And then a little bit of cash. And those are the only things that I carry on me. The um, membership cards, uh, all that stuff, I don't carry on me because I can keep that information in my phone. I just don't have to have it on me all the time. And it's stuff that I don't use very often. So why carry it with us? Um, as far as my keys go, I keep my keys very simple because I don't like to carry a bunch of keys. At a time, there was a time in my life when I did, I had keys for my office and both cars and a trailer and my keys to my mom's house and like all these different keys that I'd carry around with me all the time. And they're always making noise. They're always taking up room in my pocket. And these days I carry the minimum with me. And there's actually even more on my keychain than I, than I need. I have a key fob to the car. I have a little screwdriver that is Phillips and a straight screwdriver. And it also has a bottle cap opener. And I use this for so many different things. It's something that I got off of uh, a Kickstarter project. I hadn't been able to find it online. I've like given this out as gifts to many people. Haven't been able to find it for sale online, but I did email the person who uh, started this, the company, and they said that they're about to launch them on Amazon. So I'll make sure to put a link down in the description below because this thing 
always comes in handy. You always need like a little screwdriver for something and then to open up a bottle of beer or soda, whatever, it always comes in handy. And it's also a nice little pry bar as well. And so I use this all the time. I have a USB key on here that I used to use more often than I do now because cloud storage is everything. I keep it on there because it just, I, I don't know, it, it's always, who knows when you're gonna need to like get a file, although that rarely ever happens anymore but it still is on there and then I have uh, keys for the mail and keys for one lock and that's it like I said I don't need keys to my house because everything I can open up either with a code or by my phone so I don't have to worry about that stuff and so the less that I can carry with me the better when it comes to that stuff so I also carry my Apple Watch on me. The Apple Watch has become a great tool, not because it has like tons of useful features that I utilize all the time and I'm always like messing with my watch, but it allows me not to have to deal with my phone nearly as much. For simple notifications like who's calling me, what text message did I, did I just get, I can look at my watch instead of having to pull out my phone. The act of like pulling out my phone makes me wanna check other things and leads to distractions. I've limited the amount of apps that are on my watch to far less apps than are on my phone. There are no social media notifications at all on my watch. There are no notifications that would draw me in because you know what's gonna happen when I'm feeling distracted and I can't focus, I'll get a notification and then it'll draw me into something and that's like a, a more vulnerable moment when I'm, I'm distracted, I can't focus and then the phone beeps or vibrates or whatever and then boom, I'm like, I'm sucked in and then I lose an hour or two before I get back on track. So I make sure that all of those are off. Now this is the Apple Watch with cellular, which means that I can actually just leave my phone behind. I could leave my phone at home and as soon as the watch disconnects from the phone uh, via Bluetooth because you've gotten too far away, the cellular calls will actually just go straight to my watch. So of course my phone will probably vibrate wherever it is as well, but I can answer calls from my watch. I can respond to text messages from my watch. So if I needed to go to the store, go to the gym, go do whatever I needed to do for a short period of time, I can leave my phone behind. I don't have to worry about missing a call in case you know somebody at home needs me or there's an important call or text message that comes through. The AirPods also really easily connect to the Apple Watch so I could even use those for answering calls. I can listen to music straight from the watch to the AirPods, audiobooks, podcasts, all of that stuff from the watch without even utilizing the phone. The phone is something that I'm trying like not to use as much of, which is really hard, and I'm not really succeeding too well at that right now, but when I am trying to do that, leaving the phone behind or putting it in a different room even, leaving it on the charger in another room and just utilizing my watch means that I'm going to be away from technology a little bit more because the watch is kind of, it's kind of a pain to use. It's kind of like, it's not super convenient to just sit there and stare at your wrist and like noodle around on a tiny screen like that. So I often just go back to interacting with the world instead of being on my phone, which is what I'm trying to do more of. So like I said, managing calls, responding to text messages, using Siri and stuff. I can do navigation on my watch. And so there's a lot of different features that the watch has. Now, the, the main thing that I'm like super maybe more uh, passionate about are the different knives that I carry from time to time. Now, I like knives. I kind of got into them a number of years ago when I bought my first kind of premium knife. It wasn't really that premium. I guess it was probably like around 50 bucks. But it was a nice knife and I enjoyed carrying it and using it. It provided a ton of utility to, for me uh, when I needed to open up Amazon boxes. Uh, there, there were many situations where I needed to use them. I remember vividly we took uh, our family out to dinner um, one time and I think it was for a birthday and like a balloon got caught on something and so I was able to like just pull out my knife, boom, cut it off without trying to untie the knot or whatever. It's just, it was super easy. And so having a pocket knife is definitely something that provides a lot of utility for me. I utilize my knives uh, every single day. Well, usually just one of them at a time, but I do enjoy my pocket knives and I do enjoy a little bit nicer of a pocket knife because of the the craftsmanship that goes into it, uh, the shape, the style, the design, the feel of it. I just really enjoy 
pocket knives and uh, specifically like folding knives like this one here. And I'll link to my like three favorite ones down below in case you're super interested in that. If you're not, no big deal. Um, and then I kind of got, like I said, I kind of got a little too into knives. And so I have an Instagram where I take pictures of my knives and like the coffee that I'm drinking or whatever. I know it's kind of nerdy, but I'll share that in case you want to check it out. So there is uh, a few occasional everyday, everyday carry items that I utilize. Uh, the number one is a small camera. Of course, I have a great camera in my phone, but it's not as good as some of the cameras that I have access to. So I will carry my Sony a6600 around with me sometimes. It's a fantastic camera, beautiful images, just an amazing camera for shooting photos and shooting like 4K high resolution video. And so I utilize that camera quite often because it's easy to carry with me and it packs just many features and the quality of much larger cameras, but I don't carry it around with me all the time. And then the last is uh, my first tactical bag. I've been utilizing this backpack quite a bit, um, carrying it to the gym, uh, carrying it around with me when I'm not like going into meetings because it's not like it's a more tactical looking backpack. It's not something I'm going to walk into a meeting with, but it has room for my laptop, uh, for an iPad. Usually I don't carry both at the same time. It has room for uh, a change of clothes if I'm going to the gym or a couple of towels. I mean, it has a lot of room for different things and I utilize it in different ways depending on what I'm doing on that day. And so that bag has become super useful. And one of the things that I really like about it is it has all these like molly hooks all over it. And so it's easy to hang things off of it. At the gym, I utilize this hero clip. And so this hero clip is kind of like a, like a carabiner, but it comes unhooked like this and becomes a hook. And I can hang this pretty much anywhere. And so I'll hang this from the treadmill when I'm at the gym. When I was uh, at the airport um, earlier this month, I hung it from the table because the ground on the airport was kind of gross and I just didn't want my bag sitting on the ground. And so that clip has come in handy. I'll hang my headphones from it. So when I'm carrying my bag, my headphones, my bigger headphones are just kind of hanging there and they're easily accessible. So the hero clip has, has just been a huge one. So uh, I'll close out this video with just saying like, I try to get, get by on less from my day to day if possible. It doesn't always work out for me. Like I said, I, I tend to over uh, pack and uh, plan for shooting gigs, photography, video and stuff. When I w go do things with my family, a lot of times we bring a lot of things, not as many as some, but we bring things with us. And so sometimes it doesn't always work out. But for what I carry on me personally from day to day, I try to keep it super minimal so I don't feel weighed down. I I've gotten to the point in my life where I feel like everything that I utilize takes up some mental space. And if I have it on me, I don't know why, I just feel a little weighed down by it. So I try to shut off as much as I possibly can um, and get by without limiting my own capabilities every single day. So lastly, I just wanna leave you with just be more intentional about what you carry. I definitely have been in places in my life where I have like bought things and accumulated things that just really didn't provide any utility. And so I recommend that you look uh, a little bit more carefully at the things that you gather because it's very easy for us to just gather up all the things and then be surrounded by too many things. And it takes up mental space and it makes us feel it just it doesn't make us feel like we should it's it it loads us down so the more things that you can shed off and keep things more minimal without going like fanatical on the whole minimalist train i think will be really good so that's going to do it for this video i hope that you enjoyed it if a video like this is something that you found interesting share that with me down in the comment section below don't forget to share your favorite thing that you carry with you every single day because i'm super interested in that and i want to on <clears throat> and I wanna know what that thing is. So until next time, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.